welcome back to another video on my channel. So I've got a really cool video today and a nice and quick one. It's how to remove gel polish. So if you want to see how it's done, then just keep watching. So these are my nails. I've had these on for two and a half weeks. I've got gel polish on my nails. I do have a thin layer of a builder gel from the Gel Bottle Link, one of their builders in a bottle on my nails. So they are slightly thicker than just gel polish. And they take a couple more minutes to remove, soaking in acetone. But I thought I'd show you anyway because it's very similar to just gel polish. So I'm starting by pushing back my epinicium very gently and mainly just scraping all that dead cuticle on the nail plate off the nail. When this is sped up it does look like I'm being rather violent towards my nails but I can assure you I'm not, I'm being very gentle, it's just a light scraping pushing motion to just relieve all that dead cuticle off the nail plate. So once you've done that I just use a little scrubby brush get rid of all the cuticle. Now I'm going in with my cuticle bit, this is totally optional, I prefer to use this, I just find it gets rid of all those stubborn little bits of cuticle on the nail plate. It's really gentle, I'm just showing you there, I'm using it on my skin and as you can see it's super gentle on the nails so you don't have to worry about it damaging the nail plate because it won't do that, it's super gentle. So I'm just going around all the cuticle areas getting rid of all that cuticle off the nail plate. And now I'm going to show you how, if I was doing this with a hand file, how I would prep the nail to be soaked in acetone. So I'm just using a 100-100 grit file and I'm literally just taking off that top coat with this file so it's not touching the nail plate in any way. The natural nail is not being touched by this file. I'm literally just taking off that top coat area. Now I'm going to show you how I use my e-file. In the same way, I find this so much more gentle than using a hand file. I'm literally just using my e-file, and this is a fine top bit, to remove that gel polish. Only need to remove that top coat layer. And as you can see here, I'm just pointing out that nude pink colour you can see underneath is the builder gel. Because I've got that on, I can file back a little bit more. But if you've just got gel polish on, just file that top coat of, so you can so none of the colour goes, just file off that top coat. So these are ready to go and be soaked. So I'm just applying a little bit of cotton pad soaked in acetone, wrapping it up in foil and then putting on one of my favourite things in the world which are manicure clips. If you haven't got these, go get them, they will speed up your removal process double the speed it just I find it holds that cotton pad on the nail because sometimes when you just put the foil on it could slip about and move about this is just perfect it holds them on and it speeds up that process I would say double as quick I love my manicure clips and I'm useless I normally fling off the foil so I can't live without them so wait five minutes and then I'm going in with this cuticle tool it's got a scraper at one end and a pusher at the other you can use whatever you want to remove all this gel. I'm going to show you a few different ways. So on this baby finger, I'm just showing you how I lightly scrape across the nail plate and it just takes all that gel off. Now it's really hard to show via video how hard or how light I'm pressing with my scraper. I'm barely even touching the nail. It does look quite vicious and I'm scraping the nail away but that's not the case I'm really lightly scraping and if something doesn't want to come off don't force it to come off just leave it on there and you can buff the last little bits off so on the next nail I'm just placing my finger on a dampened disc just for a little bit of support and I'm going in the same way and scraping off all of that gel polish that has started to break down from soaking in acetone and then I'm just leaving all the stuff I can't get off the nail, I'm leaving it on. There's no point in damaging the nail, just leave it there. So on this nail, I am going to push. So rather than scrape, I'm going to use my scraper the opposite direction. So I'm showing you how you can use it in both ways. So I'm just pushing from the top rather than pulling and scraping. So you can use this tool in whatever way you feel comfortable doing. So onto the next nail, I always give it a little rub with the foil before I take it off. And on this side, I'm using the cuticle pusher to get it off. So as you can see here, you can use whatever you feel comfortable. I'm just using that to push off all that polish and it comes off super easily, as you can see. 
So on this nail I thought I'd show you how you could use one of those wooden sticks as well. It comes off just as easy, but because it was quite short it was stabbing me in the hand so I went back to using my cuticle pusher and used the scrapey edge to pull off all of that broken down gel polish. And as you can see there, I've got little bits left on. That's just because I had a builder gel thin layer, so it was slightly more difficult to get off. And now I'm just using a white buffing block and going over the whole nail plate. So if you were going to re-nail go in with gel polish, that is what you do to prep the nail. And then I'm just cleansing off with some cleanser or alcohol. Applying my cuticle to rehydrate the nail, you would do this after you've put the polish on, but because I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. So that is that nail all done. As you can see, there's a tiny little bit of gel on my nail there. There will be a couple of bits. I'm happy to leave those bits on now because I normally go in with some acrylic extensions or hard gel extensions, so I don't mind a little bit being left on. So that's all the nails removed. And once I've done them all, I like to scrub any excess dust off. I just find that makes for a better application of gel polish at the end. So there you have it, that's them all done. I really hope you enjoyed this quick, easy tutorial. I get a lot of questions asking how long it takes me to remove gel polish and how to do it. So that's how. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.